Hello, welcome. This is, a. Uh, remember Kenny's car? Yeah, I mean, I made one of them, and they're supposed to be monthly. Well, comes to find out, my car gets really cold in the winter, and I don't feel like wasting gas to turn on the heat and make this video. So, we're going to move it on inside into my lovely room. I have some Christmas lights and a chair, and I'm I'm ready to go. So, I do realize I'm a little bit late on this video. It's about three days overdue. However, I'm hopefully going to make it up to you right now. Alright, so, I'm supposed to discuss with you all a leadership event that I have been to in the past month. Now, there's been several different ones, but the one I'm going to be talking to you about today is Stop Hunger Now. So, this, this little entire process began even before school during our leadership week over the summer weekend not week it was a weekend anyways we began preparing and we began to just lay everything out onto the table and we broke down into different groups and I'm going to discuss how I saw this all play out over the course of the time but more specifically on the actual day of packaging so, um, I was on the financial marketing and the pretty much support group. And my job was to pretty much help the groups that needed help. So, like, if they needed a flyer made, if they needed a video made, um, if they needed anything, like, gathered, then our group was supposed to help with them with that. And... We were also responsible for counting the money, like managing it all. And uh, yeah, that was our job. Um, I made the initial video, but other than that, um, as far as that process goes, I guess we didn't really set up a, real, a pretty, any, not even good, we didn't really set up an organizational system. And that came to bite us in the butt, I feel like, because maybe the rest of the group pulled my weight and I just was never informed but honestly I didn't do too much to help set this program up um but I saw the other groups um they were they were always doing what they needed to do which was really cool going into Estes to get food I'd see them sitting there and they'd be um collecting donations and they were doing raffles left and right and they're spreading the word I saw flyers get out which kind of concerned me because I never was told to make flyers or said that anybody needed help. I was there for you guys. I was there for you. But it's okay. Maybe next time. So, um, just live and learn. Live and learn. Um, that's my bad too. Uh, really, I, I, sh I could have stepped up to the plate and been, I could have been a lot more direct with people and said, hey, be more proactive. Just be like, hey, how can I help you guys? Instead, I just kind of sat back. And uh, I was waiting for them to come to me, so I do take some of the fall for that. But uh, anyways, to the actual leadership event, <laughs> sorry for the tangent, you know, I tend to do those every now and then. Um, the actual event was ran by one, I, for, I forgot his name, but there was one guy from the actual program, Stop Hunger Now, that led the entire event along with several people helping him um so i guess he took charge and he pretty much gave everybody the game plan and then we all had to run with it so he um as we said in in JRTC, he pinned the rose he gave each person an individual assignment and told us what we needed to do to accomplish it um and it was just really cool to see everybody coming together and uh everybody doing their one small task to in the end do something so much greater than putting rice into a cylinder i mean that's all i was doing i was just catching the food as it came out hey guys it's Perseus jackson i'm here to tell you the phone just rang so this isn't an omission
I was just catching the food when it came out. However, once I caught that food, um, I would put it in the box, and then people be coming, running up, taking the box, putting it, weighing it, putting it into bigger boxes, and it was just a really crazy experience that it got done so fast. Like uh, it was, I don't even remember two two hours, two something like that. It wasn't very many hours at all, and we packaged thousands of meals. It was it was absolutely amazing. Um, further on, uh, I would just like to point out that he did a really good job with the whole banging the gong thing, like, he, he tried to raise our spirits, like, he kept the morale high, and, uh, I, when I first walked in, I didn't have a job, he did a really good job at, like, coming to us, being the proactive leader, taking charge, and giving everybody a job, not leaving anybody standing, because we were all there to help. It was just a matter of him telling us how to help. So, um, it was pretty cool. Um, I guess that's basically all that I wanted to talk about of the leadership experience, um, that be at the Stop Hunger Now. Um, I definitely support that, and it's, uh, it's cool. It's cool. It's a good cause, and, uh... I hope they they keep doing well in the future to come. So, uh, sorry again. It's uh, three days overdue, but you know, it happens to the best of us. Um, yeah, I think that's that's gonna that's gonna just about do it this time. No, nothing real funny. Nothing real. No tornadoes. No uh. No real distractions. So, anyways, this is Kenny signing off. See you next week.